With the Earth restored, Wang Ling's spiritual force is once again barricaded through the talisman. However, his attempts to restart the world several times have caused a depletion of the Earth's spiritual force. At school, Mrs. Pan enters, announcing a spiritual test to elevate the students to expel or raise to class elite. As usual, Wang Ling's friends, still believing he's a noob and having no memory of past events, offer to help him pass the test. While they argue, Wang Ling quietly slides away to the restrooms. There, Guo Hao asks him to join forces and forge magic pills to help them both make the exam. Outside, the test commences, evaluating students through a strike of a thunderbolt. As Wang Ling and Guo Hao forge pills, Miss Pan catches them in the lab. Pretending to dry their soaked uniforms, they manage to evade. Smelly underwear manage to save the two. However, in an attempt to hide the pills, Go Hao swallows them, making himself bloat. Immediately, Wang Ling smacks him, causing him to deflate. Thanks to Wang Ling that his spiritual slap passes enough force to make Guo Hao pass. At Wang Ling's turn, he steps on the elevation. Immediately, his force begins gathering, as dark clouds engulf the city, even causing a blackout. Sun Rong, together with instructor Wang, tries to unplug the arena, grabbing Wang Ling's sword. However, Wang Ling's sword's force causes a crack in the layers of the earth, exposing it to a deadly world. The Emperor of Doom questions his counselor about the crack from the human world. Furious at the absence of Froggy 2, whom he had sent to present him with the human world and its forces, he sends the counselor to investigate. Poor Dog shits his pants right there when he receives a notification of his arrival. Froggy 2 decides to hide at Wang Ling's from the counselor, who starts looking for him. After dinner, Wang Ling's father and Froggy put up a new talisman on him, hoping to help him with his speech. However, the two mess up. Before any serious damage is inflicted, Froggy 2 consumes the burst correcting the talisman and making it hard for the counselor to track him as his force soars. Later, Mrs. Pan arrives at their home regarding Wang Ling's poor progress. Just as she complains, Wang Ling starts behaving strangely, making his father realize the faulty talisman. His parents, sweating nervously, decide to distract Mrs. Pan just long enough for his father to fix the talisman. But could anything not go wrong at the worst time? Despite swapping the talisman, the household objects start absorbing Wang Ling's life force. Using the extra source that Froggy 2 consumed, Wang Ling controls them. However, his talisman starts breaking down, just as the counselor finally tracks Froggy down since his energy had depleted now. The minute he opens the front door, Wang Ling's force bursts through, making the poor devil dude thrown out the hill that melts into a puddle of lava. The family successfully bids a satisfied Miss Pan goodbye, while not knowing that they saved the poor dog. A day saved by this weird family. At the school, the students chatter about the disappearance of Idle Beauty, the world's number one assassin after a sword liner crash. Just then, Miss Pan enters, introducing a new student, Lin Xiao Yu. Strangely, Wang Ling finds her familiar. Meanwhile, Instructor Wang and the Magic Squad follow a woman, Yue, sister of the former Shadow Faction leader, however planting a trap as she enters the school. Inside, as the boys wander around, they spot Yue walking down a room. Immediately, Chan Chan follows. They look around the messy room before hearing someone coming and hide under the table, only to realize it's Lin Xiao Yu's room. Poor guys just become a bunch of perverts. Arguing, they accidentally open a ground compartment and fall. Down below, Yue arrives before the imprisoned shadow boss. However, she is not here to save, but to take revenge from when her sister had crashed to the sword liner, separating her from her lover and stealing her position as shadow boss while Yue got sucked into the deadly world and labored. Wang Ling manages to bring them to a secure room. Wang Ling realizes that the arrival of Froggy 10 years back had caused the sword liner to crash. Just as Yue is about to kill the boss, Instructor Wang arrives, saving her and telling Yue that she's idle beauty, waiting for her all these years. <laughs> these two have a passionate reunion. Instructor Wang, now together with his lover, oh, the two old ditzy lovers, conducts a class on sword maintenance. After class, Wang Ling and his friends discuss their swords and decide to visit a sword maintenance shop. There, they surprisingly find Lin Jiao Yu working. As she maintains their sword, she tells that ever since she lost her sister, a sword spirit, she works at spiritual places in hopes of meeting her. Lin also doesn't have a means to own a sword. Unknown to her, after she leaves work, the group stays behind deciding to forge her a new sword with Wang Ling's twisted sword design. Let's just say it's unique. 
Using the crown of the Devil Counselor Wang Ling had melted, they forge Lin Jiao Yu a new sword, bringing her to tears when they surprise her. As they enjoy the moment, Tong Birdie too appears, degrading the friends and declaring that his family owns this shop. Cheekily, he calls Lin Jiao Yu forward for a trial of her ugly sword. With his snow-blowing technique and sword spirit, Tang Birdie seems strong before he strikes Lin Jiao Yu's sword. Feeling a pang of negative force, Lin Jiao Yu's sword starts feeding off his spiritual force and his sword's force too. In a flash, Wang Ling's sword slashes through, breaking the connection. As the friends rush in, relieved that Lin Jiao Yu is safe, a shriveled Tang Birdie too falls to the ground. It's Autumn Reunion Day, where students exchange sachets for well-wishing. However, school restrictions make it hard for Sun Rong to give hers to Wang Ling. As she wanders, Lin Xiaoyu suggests that she give it after school at night. Hence, Sun Rong asks Wang Ling out at night, but is disappointed when Chen Xiao and Guo Hao show up as well. Talk about ruin in the moment. Scared of the dark school, Chen Xiao and Guo Hao keep getting spooked. Unknown to them, it's the shadow boss breaking out of the prison. Bursting through the toilet, she scares the two enough to make them collapse. However, Wang Ling flushes her back down. She tries coming back up from the elevator, but her poor luck, Wang Ling bursts her down. With the guys out, Sun Rong finally offers her sachet to Wang Ling. Suddenly, Lin Xiaoyu appears, punching him away. Due to the counselor's crown in her sword, Lin Xiaoyu has been possessed by him. Lin, or the counselor, grabs Sun Rong, about to suck her into the doom world when the shadow boss springs, screaming that Sun Rong's hers to take care of. In a flash, Wang Ling sweeps through, taking Sung Rong with him as Shadow Boss punches the counselor instead, getting him sucked. Doubling over, Wang Ling punches the poor Shadow Boss into a wall. Laying an unconscious Sun Rong down, gently, he accepts the sachet. Zhou Yi converses with the top predecessors of the human race regarding the depleting spiritual force and the crack connecting to the demon world, allowing more and more demon influence in. The highest predecessor concludes by ordering to capture a demon and use it to make its way to the demon world. At school, Chen Zhao is being punished before everyone by his father for rewarding his spiritual energy to a streamer, Harry Fox, he's become obsessed with. Wang Ling and his friends worry for him, sure that it's a demon in disguise sucking his force through the internet. Finding him giggling in a computer room connected to Fairy and shriveling up, Guo Hao attempts to break the server, but fails. Soon, Chen's father arrives as well, seeing his son in such a trance, he angrily slices the computer itself. Immediately, Chen Zhao grows restless, desperate to be reunited. His body lets go of his soul and he zaps into the server and out through Fairy's computer. With her mission successful, Fairy finally morphs into its true demon form, making Chen Zhao realize his mistake. Looks like the simp is finally back to his senses. Back at school, his friends and father desperately try to revive him. Sun Rong manages to make contact and reaches out to Chen. In time, Wang Ling's fist comes out of the screen, punching the demon off and grabbing poor Chen back to his body. That night, the news reports of Sun Rong's father's group going bankrupt. Sun Rong's family moves into their ancestral property of the Mount Flower Fruit after bankruptcy, living a primitive lifestyle. Unknown to them, it's due to the workings of the Tang Group, of Tang Jingze, the Sun Group's rival. They've worked together with a demon in disguise of Uncle Richmond to bring down the Sun Group's stocks until their bankruptcy. However, the flower fruit spiritual vein is still alive, and they seek to destroy it completely. On their way back to the train from Sun Rong's, Wang Ling and the group watch the breaking news reporting the upcoming takeover of Sun Group by the Tangs, through a blood-borne contract between Sun Rong and Tang Jin Zhe in a ceremony. Realizing what's going on, the friends run back to Sun Rong's, but are faced by Tang Jin Zhe's squad. While the others combat them, Wang Ling makes through towards the ceremony. He arrives, snatching away Sun Rong. However, Sun Rong remorsefully stops him, revealing her will in the contract. She returns back to the ceremony as Wang Ling and the injured Chen Chao, Ling Xiaoyu, and Guo Hao retreat, defeated. As they walk down, Wang Ling notices bubbling in the water body below. Jumping in, Wang Ling grabs a demon, Uncle Richmond, sucking at the spiritual force vein of the Sun Group. He whips it out, abolishing it. Immediately, the Sun Group stock shot in the market. Employees run in, stopping Sun Rong before she can sign as Zhao Yi arrives to arrest the Tongs for their corruption. 
the Songhai Spiritual Sword Art Assembly commences in its full glam, a competition allowing students to showcase their sword skills. As the judges settle, the first contestant steps up, Sun Rong, unaware that they were being watched by the demon himself, Uncle Richman. As Sun Rong shows her beautiful ocean dance, she suddenly loses control. The sword shot at the judges, causing them to stop her performance. Growing sad, she returns, but her mistake makes the internet go crazy, criticizing her and boosting the show's rating. Greedily, the anchor decides to continue the show. Chen Xiao and Guo Hao step up next to cheer on Sun Rong. However, they face the same thing, causing Chen to get hurt in the process. Performances keep generating spiritual force and directly feeding Richmond. Spectating, Sun Rong realizes Wang Ling and Ling Xiaoyu missing. Lin Xiaoyu appears on stage, showcasing her beautiful dance until her tree grows on fire. Immediately, Sun Rong jumps, controlling it with her ocean spirit and making it a beautiful specter. The two receive great applause, but by then, Richmond has collected enough force. Richmond walks onto the stage, unleashing his ultimate control, but gets doubtful when he sees Sun Rong and Lin, untranced. This is when Wang Ling appears, declaring that he has fiddled with his magic formation, causing everyone to be under Sun Rong and not him. A maniac anchor under influence appears, punching Richmond through the roof. Ouch. That poor demon's reign was only seconds long in glamour. However, Sun Rong is unable to control everyone. Turning into evil dummies, they soullessly start crawling towards them. Obsessed with Sun Rong, the evil dummies follow her, Wang Ling, and Lin Xiaoyu as they hide in the tower. Relentlessly, the dummies start piling up in an attempt to reach them. Among them, a tranced Chen races towards Sun Rong, declaring his love, which she rejects. His heart burns, breaking off the trance as he falls to the roof. Realizing that the key to breaking the trance is to disappoint the heart, they decide to find a way to broadcast Sun Rong to everyone. However, the nearest tower crashes under a meteor thrown by Richmond, also taking down Shadow Boss, who had once again appeared to kill Sun Rong. Poor woman just can't catch a break from her bad luck. As Chen Zhao and Lin Xiaoyu stay back to put off the horde of evil dummies, Wang Ling and Sun Rong get on a train to the Fort Skyloop up in space. Upon arrival, Sun Rong effectively broadcasts, announcing that her love stands for one man only. And don't we wonder who. As the hearts break, the dummies calm back down to their original human selves. Back up in space, Richmond grows mad. Turning into his true self, he shoots a massive meteor onto Earth, attempting to annihilate it. Not on Wang Ling's watch, though. Wang Ling whips out his sword, turning the meteor into a beautiful shower and killing Richmond. As the meteor shower lights up the sky, Sun Rong and Wang Ling have an almost romantic experience. The students arrive at BP Animation as the boss shows them around. Just then, the producer at the company comes rushing in, informing the boss that the director had run off being overburdened. Panicking as to what to do now, the boss decides to give the noob students a chance, bewildering the producer who begs otherwise. The boss goes with his plan, explaining the animation process to the students. Given the opportunity to act as acting directors, they huddle around the animators, watching them create beautiful pieces. Chen Zhao peers over one of the animators and criticizes his animation frame, making him furious and emotional. Unleashing his art of liver bursting, he draws at a manic speed before collapsing. Moving on to another animator, they manage to piss him off as well. Finally, they come to the art section and meet Mr. Zhu, an extremely worn out animator. The dude literally looks like a mummy. Fussing around, the student accidentally unplugs his monitor, making him lose progress. Man's work of a lifetime turned to ash. Oof. The students then decide to animate on their own. However, despite Wang Ling's help, their sketches get rejected by the supervisor. Defeated and with key workers collapsed, together with the Earth's depleting spiritual force, the atmosphere turns slow and gray. Wang Ling decides to go back in time and to the director, straightening him up. Back in the present, the director finally arrives, normalizing the operations and returning the atmosphere back and more beautiful. This episode brings us back to episode 9. In the Doom world, the Demon Emperor realizes Wang Ling as the true opponent. As Richmond dies, the Emperor orders the Counselor to trap Wang Ling and Sun Rong at the Fort Sky Loop and commence the battle on Earth. At the fort, Wang Ling and Sun Rong turn into 3D resolution, becoming trapped in a spatial dimension. Down at Earth, portals start opening, unleashing demons into the world. An urgent meeting is held with all senior practitioners present. Zhou Yi announces a plan to use the school's spiritual test arena to destroy the portals through a powerful practitioner's force. One of the members, an erratic man, 
stands up and volunteers. Outside, as the demons trample around, the practitioner stands on the elevation, summoning his force he manages to annihilate the demons. However, it all goes in vain when multiple portals appear. Through them float giant pods holding thousands of airborne demons, with one of them crushing the poor man. Up on the fort, Sun Rong feels helpless seeing the earth turn red in bedlam. Luckily, Wang Ling finds a way to break through. He puts mirrors before each other, disrupting the frames, breaking the spatial trap, and returning to normal resolution. Leaving Sun Rong in the safety of the fort, he shoots over to the earth. With all hope lost, Zhou Yi helplessly spectates the scene, when he spots Wang Ling. However, before Wang Ling can wipe the unwelcome critters, Lin Jiao Yu appears behind him, in a butterfly's outfit, zapping him to nothing with her. Lin Jiao Yu is revealed to be of the butterfly race, a race wiped by the demon emperor similar to others they have destroyed and invaded. She appears before the emperor with Wang Ling, begging the emperor to return her sister as promised. Down at Earth, Sun Rong broadcasts once again through the fort giving an excellent speech, she encourages the human race. People march out from their hidings, confident and courageous to take the demons on. Meanwhile, at the demon world, the emperor is imprisoned by Wang Ling. However, he has no idea what Wang Ling holds. The old demonic geezer is about to get his ass kicked. Wang Ling, no longer constricting his force, goes rabid on the emperor, tossing him around like a marble. Defeated, he questions why an insignificant race like humans is so stubborn. As he distracts Wang Ling in conversation, the counselor sweeps behind him, removing his talisman. Poor guy thought that was his weakness. The removal floods Wang Ling's energy, bursting the demon world like a bubble, and removing all demons and chaos from the earth, restoring it back with the spiritual rain. Arriving back on Earth with Lin Jiao Yu, he forgives her asking her to quickly call his father to come with the talisman. As the Earth settles back, the people believe their courage defeated the demon with Zhou Yi once again posed as the hero. Rumors of a mysterious hero prevail as Wang Ling continues to live a basic life. And that's the end of the video. As always, if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading a lot of videos just like this, so I'll see you at the next one. And as a quick note, I'm still streaming on Twitch. If you guys ever want to stop by, talk about anime, maybe play some JRPGs together, I'm usually there hanging out.